Hey guys, it's Josh. Uh, today I'm back working on the Massey again. Uh, today I'm working on some fuel lines. Gonna go ahead and show you how I'm making them from scratch. So that would make a good video. Today I'm working on replacing the supply and the return lines for the injector pump. There's really nothing wrong with these lines other than they're not straight anymore. They just bent up a little bit, but I had to go ahead and replace some of these other lines from the fuel pump over to the this filter here. And I just wanted to go through and show you how I do them. Uh, most of these, these are the original steel hard lines and you can see they've been brazed up a few times over the years. Uh, the same with uh, these hard hydraulic lines this one here that rests against the hood you can see how it's rubbing on the lip in the hood and that's just going to start to leak again i was going to go ahead and repair that but i just having some trouble finding these fittings i had to go ahead and order them so i'm waiting on parts again that seems to be the case more likely than not lately but i have everything to do these hard lines which are or the fuel lines which are a quarter inch steel line so i'm gonna go ahead and do them i'm just gonna use take these off with a half inch wrench there's nothing too fancy about these i'm not using steel line i'm using the copper nickel it's just a little easier to work with and what I had have on hand so I'm just gonna go ahead and work with what I got uh, I'll show you these washers that I had to order here to do the fuel system though Stuff's not the easiest to do with one hand either. That one should be out. They're held in there. There's a rubber washer, a goofy rubber washer. So they're not going to just come out on their own. They're stuck in there a little bit, so... get this out and then I'll show you what I got going on. I have brake line wrenches around here somewhere. I could be using them, but that takes time to find them and this this wrench is right here, so In there set that off to the side uh, i'm gonna forget where that is in about two minutes so but here it's unscrewed it takes a little bit to pull them out because there's a rubber washer on the inside and it's still on the inside i'm gonna have to get a pick and dig that out there's a little bit of fuel coming out here not much not enough to worry about that one didn't come out either. And see what's left of this washer after all these years. It's not much there. Uh, I got new ones. And show you what you're actually supposed to look like. They're more of a. It's got a quarter inch inside diameter. 
and they're they're not an o-ring they're more of a sleeve so i'm gonna go grab a pick so i can dig those sleeves out and i'll be right back all right i'm back i found one of my cheap little harbor freight picks laying around get this other half of this washer out of here Not a whole lot left of that one either. But like I said, I was just gonna remake these lines. Uh, you can see in there, I don't know if I can get in, in there, in there. There's threads, there's quite a bit of space, and then they are tapered down. Not sure the quite right way to do this. You could, the line will go in further than it should. So I'm just gonna taper them to keep these little washers on you can see you got a small crimp on them a very slight flare just to keep that rubber washer on space and then the nut so they're actually a little thicker but set that off to the side uh, right now I got my quarter inch brake line slash fuel line i straighten that piece out that looks like it'll be big enough to go in this spot i'm not sure how well i'll be able to do this with one hand i mean it if you push too hard the fuel line will go in all the way i'm gonna make this a little bit longer than it should be that way if my 90 doesn't turn out right where I want it to I can trim off the end and get it to sit where it should and I just find a spot with my fingers that I'm happy with make a mental note of that because I got to grab the grab the tubing bender uh, on this lighter stuff you should be okay bending it with hand you just can't do too much of a bend uh, it's definitely a lot harder with this 3 ace line and then this tool you got to figure out which direction I'm going It's got the angles right on it. If you want to go to 90, line it up with zero. But to get a true 90, it's going to have to spring back a little bit. So you're going to have to go over just a hair. And then that's it for the bend. And then it's, it's a lot of taking stuff apart and refitting it and making slight adjustments and fishing it in like you should. I got plenty of extra right there right now. You can see where, see where it's supposed to go. There's a little bit. I'm gonna want it to be straight. Just slip it back in here. And see, I'm on a nice straight line in there. It's gonna come down and I gotta jog over to get to that, but I gotta stay out of the way of the throttle linkage here. So I gotta make sure I have enough clearance for that. So I see in order to do that, I'm gonna to wanna to put a slight bend in my holes right after the 90. Let's see if I can get it pointed the right way. so frustrating doing some of this with one hand. 
try and see if I can give you a little bit better view. Uh, here's my 90, and I'm going to want to try to kink it to a 45. Just got to get this in there. It's kind of directional, too. I want to go this way. So right after the 90, I want to bend it to 45. I can do it in slight increments. Otherwise, you'll get too much. So we got our 90, and then you turn it this way, we have a slight, I don't know, 30 degree angle. It's gonna go back and do another test fit. Get it up in there to where it's kinda gonna sit. Filter over down. It looks okay. I'm gonna have to go a little bit more with that angle. It's always easier to do more of an angle than less of an angle. So And I'm on the wrong side. We want quite a bit more that time, you can see. We do another test fit. It's just a constant in and out with these. That looks much better. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this line off so it's easier to work with and I'll be back. I went ahead and this angle on here turned to be out, be what I needed. So I went ahead and I trimmed both ends to the length that I need. I'll go ahead and do a final test fit before I flare. Give you an idea of what that line's gonna look like. It's gonna look nice and straight going down into the injection pump and you look this way, it's gonna miss this breather pipe and everything should be good. So that's how I make my own fuel lines. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to bend them up here or how to put the ends on them. That's the more complicated part. The tubing, I mean, it's, nothing hard about it. it just like anything else it takes time and a little bit of patience maybe maybe a few cuss words so you have to play around with it and figure it out so we'll go ahead and flare some lines <laughs> 